What is going on guys? CW Pokey here back with a brand new game today. And man, I am so excited to share this one with you guys. I am playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Now if you guys don't know about the series, it's a really incredible spinoff from the uh, you know main Pokemon franchise. And yeah, it's just an incredibly good game. It's got very good gameplay, got a fantastic story, and I am so excited to share it with you guys. It's my first official playthrough on this channel. Um, so we're going to be starting right now, and we're just going to get straight into it, so let's do it. Oh man, but yes, this game is so much fun. I have played it before, um, and I've also played through Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue uh, back when that game came out as well, so I'm very excited to, you know, touch back on this game and uh, share it with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Did you play Explorers of Time or Explorers of Darkness? Well, uh, yes I actually did. I played Explorers of Time. You just stuffed yourself with a good meal when a great dessert arrives. What do you do? Oh man. Uh, yum, I love dessert the most, definitely. Have you ever blurted something out without thinking about the consequences first? Uh, yeah, a couple times. <laughs> you see a cake that has passed its expiration date, but only by one day. What do you do? Uh, probably think about it briefly, then decide. When you see a switch, do you feel an overwhelming urge to flip it? Uh, not really. You've been handed a large bag as a souvenir. What do you do? Oh, man. Uh, gotta open it. Gotta open it. Have you ever been told a joke that just completely fell flat? Uh, yeah, <laughs> a couple of times. Do you think you have good study habits? Uh, definitely not, no. <laughs> Your friend is running a little late to meet you, is that okay? I guess, yeah. Are you male or female? Well, I'm definitely male, Professor Oak, thank you so much for asking again, but yes. And now your aura will be analyzed. Your aura is the energy that you radiate. Relax, calm yourself, and now press your fingertip gently on the bow. Well, let's do it. Stay perfectly still. Take a deep breath. <sighs> All right. Your aura has now been identified. Lift your fingertip from the uh, touch screen. Your aura is... A brilliant green. That's pretty awesome. Every time I do this, I usually get aqua blue, so that's actually a totally different color. Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the rash type. Just a little bit hasty at times. Maybe here or there. You may run out of your house and forget to lock your door once in a while. And you may leave things like umbrellas behind when you leave places. Maybe even dash outside in your slippers every now and then. Perhaps you even wear your shirts inside out all the time? <laughs> oh, is that even rasher than you really are? So sorry. But you know, but know that your friends think you're funny, little flubs are adorable. So a rash and hasty type like you... Oh wait, one more thing. You also sometimes reveal your friends' secrets by accident, don't you? <laughs> Sorry, it had to be said. So without further ado, a rash and hasty type like you... Will be a Mudkip! And finally, who will be your partner? Choose the Pokemon you want for a partner. Oh man, so we get like Pikachu, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Trico, Torchic... Turtwig and tons of others as well so we can choose our partner now the thing is I got picked a mudkip and I figured I would randomly let the game decide who I will be and so since I'm a mudkip we're gonna have you know problems with grass types um, we're not gonna be evolved yet so we will have a problem with electric types I'm thinking <laughs> I'm definitely thinking we got to go with our little pal Torchic here let's go with Torchic is Torchic who you want yeah what is your partner's nickname? Well, uh, I guess it's just Torchic. If you guys know me, I don't nickname my Pokemon very often. So we'll just go with Torchic. Also, I think it fits better, and you guys will see why in a little bit. Is the name Torchic okay? Yes. Okay, that's it. You're all ready to go. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Well, that was fun. So now we are playing as a Mudkip. Chapter 1, A Storm at Sea. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are, are you okay? No, don't let go! Just a little longer. Come on, hang on! No, no, no! I can't. Hold on. Wah! Well, that's kind of dramatic. <laughs> 
But a good start, definitely. I can't drifting off. Hmm. No, I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. Today I'm going to be brave. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Torchix! The footprint is Torchix! Wow! That shocked me. Whew. I, I can't. I can't bring myself to go in. I vowed that I would do it today, but... I thought that holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. Sigh. Just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Hey Zubat, did you get a load of that? You bet I did, coughing. That little wimp was just pacing around. Had some good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. So it looks like we're finding trouble already. But what in the world is going on? <laughs> Some nice little crabby. This is definitely one of my favorite scenes from the game. I love this part. Wow, what a beautiful sight. When the weather's good, the crabby come out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles reflecting the setting sun off the waves. It's always beautiful. This is where I always come when I'm feeling down on myself. But it makes me feel good to be here like always. Coming here heals my spirits. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? What? Someone has collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? Ugh. You're awake! Thank goodness! Where... where am I? You wouldn't move at all, I was really scared for you! Do you have any idea how you ended up unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? Anyway, I'm Torchic. Happy to meet you. And who are you? I don't think I've seen you around here. What? You say you're a human? You look like a totally normal mudkip to me. It's... it's true. I've turned into a mudkip? But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're... a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You're telling me the truth? Okay, how about your name? What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... Well, my name is definitely Chris. So let's type that in right now. C-H-R-I-S. There we go. Is the name Chris okay? Yes. So your name Chris? Okay. Well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. A lot of Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. It's just not safe anymore. Youch! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> can't figure it out. We wanted to mess with you. Can't face up to us, can you? What? What? That's yours, isn't it? Oh, that's... 
Sorry, kiddo. We'll take it. Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Not gonna make a move to get that back. What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on. Let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh. What? What should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No! There's no time to waste. I have to get it back. Say, can you help me? Uh, 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 what, what should I do? We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. Uh, g got it. Really? You'll really help? Thanks. Can we go take care of it right now? Uh, I guess we're off, so <laughs> let's do this. Let's go and follow that Zubat and coughing in a beach cave. Head for the stairways. As you go, you can attack enemies by pressing A. Enemies won't move or attack until you do. So yes, here is our first uh, final bit of adventuring. And as you can see, we can move around into our little dungeon. So let's continue on this way. It looks like we can't see and that is a dead end. So I guess we have to turn back right away. But yeah, oh, there's our first Pokemon that is attacking us. Oh no. Okay, so what we can do is we can press the A button to do a general attack. And, well, let's just keep doing that until, you know, it's going to run out of hit points. There goes Torchic using Scratch, taking out the Shellos. And that is the basic attack in this game. Now, there's some cool other mechanics that you can do, and I will get into those just in a little bit. So here's a Pokemon that's actually asleep. Sometimes Pokemon will be sleeping when you first find them in a dungeon. So what we can do is go up to it, and as you see when we get right up to it, it will actually wake up and attack us. So we'll face it. And we will uh, press the right button, hopefully. There we go. If we press the X button, it brings up a little menu. And we can click on Moves. And you see we have Tackle and Growl. This is our regular moveset, just like any normal Pokemon game. And what we can do is select Tackle and use it. And that does a little bit more damage. Now, Corsola, if you guys do know, is a Rock type. And we used a Normal type attack. So it is actually not very effective. Now, the cool thing is our basic attack, while weak, is, I believe, Typeless? So it affects any Pokemon and doesn't have resistances or super effectiveness. So Shellos uses Mud Slap on Torchic as Scratch takes it right out, so we are good to go. So now we'll continue up here, and this is sort of, uh, also right now I'm holding the B button. If you hold the B button down, you'll sort of skip ahead and go faster. And let's pick up that, there's 20. P is this world's money, save it up to buy useful items for your adventure. So there's some money, and here we find stairs. These are very important in this game. Uh, finding stairs will let you move on to the next floor, so let's proceed on to the second floor, or the second basement floor. You can carry one item. The items you find on the floor have a variety of useful effects. If you find an item, open the menu with X, you, and then use the items option to see what it does. All right, so well, uh, let's check that out really quick. Uh, you have no items. Uh, what? <laughs> well, thanks, game. Okay, so let's try and line ourselves up here, and let's attack this Kabuto. Now, it's also a rock type, so we'll just go ahead and use our regular attack. And our regular attack also does not have power points, so we can use it as many times as we want. The problem is that it's a very weak move. Now, another cool thing we can do is set a move. So we will set um, tackle, and what you do is, I believe you press select? Yes, you press select, and it'll do it as the set move. So now when we hold the right trigger and press the attack button, we will actually use tackle instead of our standard attack, and that way we don't have to go through the menu every single time. But yes, that's just a uh, good way to save some time. There we go. See, as you can see, tackle doing a lot more damage, a uh, much stronger attack just to kind of finish off Pokemon. But it is, u or it is limited in its amount of usages, so... Uh, we can't keep using it forever. In some areas, you will see a ground tile with a green arrow. It's called a wonder tile. Step on it to heal any stat changes. Oh, well, okay. We'll do that the next time we find one. Aw, oh, come on, Kabuto. There we go. You scratch. A lot of rock type Pokemon in this uh, this little dungeon, so it's kind of hard since we don't have any, you know, non-normal attacks or just our basic attacks, so. Let's just uh, move on here. I keep running into dead ends. That will happen a lot in this game. Oh, here's one of those tiles that the uh, game was talking about. Picked up a Blast Seed. You can eat a Blast Seed to breathe fire at the target in front of you. To use it, open the menu, select it from items, then select Eat. So here we can step on these, and it doesn't change anything because I'm not affected. But if you have a status condition, let's say someone uses Growl and my attack is lowered, I can step on that tile and Growl's effects will be eliminated. So it's really useful, especially if you have evasive issues or anything like that. Have questions about anything? You can check out Quick Hints by opening the menu with X, then selecting Others to find the Hints option. Okay, well, we're probably good. I think I know enough about this game to get us along here. So here we find a Shelter. Tackle's gonna miss. Oh, it's gonna miss again. 
Oh boy. And as you can see there, Torchic used Growl even though it was not right next to us. Oh, and there we go, our first level up. Chris grew to level six. Oh, I learned Mud Slab, nice. HP went up, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and let me guess, speed? No, no speed. Interesting. Oh, that's right. Yes, speed is not in this game. That is silly of me. I was gonna say, every stat is in this game, just like any other Pokemon game, except for speed, because turn order is just, you know, it's standard. It's, you know, you attack once, and then the opponent attacks once. Ooh, Beach Cave Pit. Um, hey. Well, well. If it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. Urk. Give me, give me back what you stole from me. That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? It could be worth more than we'd hoped for, I'd say. We have to try selling it. Who knows? It might get a good price. Whoa! All the more reason not to give it back. You can't. If you want it back that badly, come and get it. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like these guys aren't gonna, you know, take no for an answer, and we gotta fight them now. So, uh. Let's do this. This is our first boss attack. And yes, uh, Torchic's Growl does affect people from, you know, not just one tile away. As you can see, when we use Tackle, it has to be the person right in front of us. But uh, some moves like Growl hit other areas. They reach different uh, tiles and things like that. And you can find all of that information out in the move's description. But let's finish off the Zubat. Coughing went down pretty easily, and there goes Zubat as well. Not too tough for those big bullies that they were trying to be. Ow, ow, ow. Ugh, we've got roughed up. Blasted! How'd we get wiped out by wimps like them? Bah! Here you go, take it then! Whoa! Don't think you're so awesome, your victory was a fluke. Yeah, just remember that. Well, they're off quick. Oh, it's my relic fragment! Thank goodness, I actually managed to get it back! This happened only because you helped me, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Well, no problem. This is the least I could do, right? Right? Yeah. Thank you very much. I only helped you because I happened to be there. Was that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment, it's my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness and new lands just waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of gold and treasure. And history, wouldn't it be dramatic to make historic discoveries? That's what I always dream of. It's also exciting to me. And it just so happened that I found this relic fragment. Sure, it does look like junk, but take a closer look. Look there, see that strange pattern inscribed on it? It's true, there is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. There must be some meaning to this pattern. This relic fragment must be key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasure lies. At least that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice, but I was too cowardly. What about you, Chris? What are you gonna do now? You lost your memory and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have any place where you can stay? If not, can I ask a big favor? Would you form an exploration team with me? I think we can make a good exploration team together, Chris. So will you do that with me, please? Whoa. What should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon and form an exploration team? I mean, why not? If we lost our memory, we don't really know what's going on, and now we're a Pokemon? Why not form a team? I mean, things haven't gotten a whole lot crazier than that already, so let's form a team. It's true, I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Torchic for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Oh? Really? You'll really form an exploration team with me? Yay, thank you! We're gonna be great, we're gonna be a great combination. Let's make this work! First, we need to go to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we can get the training to become a proper exploration team. I think the training will be very tough. So let's give it our best, Chris. 
And there we have it, I guess. So now we're an exploration team. And so, Torchic and Chris formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. And so, yeah. I guess that's how it starts. So we lost our memory, and now we're a Pokemon, but that is the start to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. And I think that's actually going to wrap up our first episode, guys. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys are very excited to see more in the near future. I'm going to keep on going and uh, hopefully see what's happening with us. Maybe in the next episode we'll kind of get a hint as to what's going on, why we're now a Pokemon. I don't even know, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.